हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फेरोमोन्स इट्स इवोल्यूशन इट्स डेफिनेशन एंड द टाइप्स आल्सो दैट इज द अलार्म फेरोमोन्स इन आंट्स बेसिकली सो टुडे अलार्म फेरोमोन्स इन बीज सो हनी बीज आर द मोस्ट स्टडीड इंसेक्ट फॉर द सोशल बिहेवियर एंड चार्ल्स बटलर वॉज द फर्स्ट who recognized that the attack signal was a chemical basically that is released from the bees and that is the worker bees so alarm pheromone is only found in worker bees the first chemical component of the honey bee alarm pheromone was identified in 1962 as isopentyl acetate it was later determined that this was only the one component of the alarm substance esters and ketones of the certain chain length seem to be effective as the alarm pheromones in the species that is the apis mellifera whereas the hydrocarbons aldehydes acids and the alcohols are not then all species of apis have alarm pheromone and the compounds are generally similar among the common honey bee species but the point here is that is exceptionally the european bees and the african killer bees have the different concentration of alarm pheromone that is they quite differ in the um, concentration of the alarm pheromone as from the other species of the honey bees so african bees secrete alarm pheromone with the same amount of isopentyl acetate but with more decyl acetate than the other bees which leads to more aggressive defense to the enemy that is the due to the more amount of decyl acetate in the african bee it will result into more aggressive defense towards the enemy so alarm pheromone is released by koschevnikov gland and the duver gland and the poison gland also the alarm pheromone of apis mellifera contains the compounds that orient the other bees to the tag target isopentyl acetate only increases the flight activity a mixture of the chemicals like isopentyl acetate butyl acetate one hexanol one butanol etc serve to recruit the bees from the interior of the colony and the another mixture okay like octyl acetate and pentyl acetate heighten the response to the moving objects so alarm pheromone is released by koschenikov gland and it is located near the sting shaft and it consists of more than 40 chemical compounds like one hexanol one butanol okay and pentyl acetate octyl acetate okay so these chemical compounds have low molecular weights they are highly volatile in nature and they appear to be the least specific of all the pheromones so alarm pheromone is released by the work or bees to alert the other bees of the danger and it is released when a bee stings the another animal so this pheromone attracts the other bee to the location and causes the other bees to behave uh, defensively that is to sting or charge so smoke can also mask the bees alarm pheromone so there are various types of the pheromones that are present and in, in the bees we can see them respectively one by one so the first pheromone is the drone pheromone so basically drone that is the male counterpart in the honey bee of that is the counterpart to the queen honey bee it produces a pheromone that attract the other flying drones and why this pheromone is secreted it is basically secreted to promote drone aggregation at a particular site then the second is the brood recognition pheromone so larva and the pupa emit this pheromone that is the early stage in the development of the honey bee so this pheromone inhibit the ovarian development in the worker bees and it helps in nurse bees that is to distinguish the worker larvae from the drone larvae and the pupae 
now there is another pheromone that is egg marking pheromone so it helps the nurse bees that is to distinguish between the eggs that is laid by the queen bee and that is the eggs that are laid by a laying worker so basically on the basis of the eggs the amount of the nutrition or the type of the food to be provided by the nurse bee is uh, taken care of by this egg marking pheromone now the footprint pheromone so basically uh, this is a uh, secreted by the bees in searching for the nectar in case of queen it is an oily secretion of the queen's tarsal glands that is deposited on the comb as she walks across it this inhibits the queen cell uh, construction thereby inhibiting swarming and diminishes as the queen ages that is as the age of the queen increases it will decrease now the next is the national pheromone so these are emitted by the worker bees and it is used for orientation okay in the search of food or any other purpose now the next pheromone is the queen mandibular pheromone also known as qmp so it is emitted or secreted by queen it affects the social behavior and the maintenance of the hive the mating behavior the inhibition of the ovary and the development in the worker bee so as we know worker bees are basically sterile in nature that is they are not able to produce the fertile eggs so that it will leads to the inhibition of ovary by the queen mandibular pheromone some of the chemicals that are found in the queen mandibular pheromone are like carboxylic acid and the aromatic compounds as like the 9 oxidac 2 enoic acid that is 9 oda 9 hda that is 9 hydroxy 2 enoic acid also there is another point that is alarm pheromones are also found in the wasp and basically the wasp that is belonging to the family vespidae so wasp react in the opposite manner as the honey bees to increasing group size isolated single wasp respond more to their alarm pheromone than those that were in large group as in case of honey bee large groups are considered more active in case of pheromones so wasp with larger bodies typically have lower defense activity than the smaller species now the second type of the signaler pheromone is the train pheromone earlier we have discussed about the alarm pheromone that is the first type of the signaler pheromone now the trail pheromone so certain ants because they return to the nest with food shows a trail pheromone like mechanism the trail pheromone attract and guide the other ant to the food as this is is seen in daily life activities also we can notice that so the trail pheromone that is 4 methyl 3 heptanol evaporates quickly so other ants stop coming to the sites and are not confused by the old red pheromone when the food is found elsewhere so this is a diagram basically representing the path and that is the pheromone that is released by particular ants and they follow the direction according to the pheromone Insects find their nest by using the trap pheromone. They secrete a chemical compound when they go looking for the food from the moment they leave the nest. In this way, they can relocate the nest easily like the female mosquitoes use the CO2 to locate the breeding animals by targeting for the locations with a high CO2 concentration they find the blood donors that they need. now the sex attracting pheromones that is it is another type of the signaler pheromone so it is commonly found in insects the first sex attracting pheromone was discovered in moth species that is the bombex mori okay so moth sex pheromone does not consist of a single molecule but it is a blend or basically a mixture of different compounds just like the alarm pheromone so the ratio of each component in the pheromone differs from species to species that is uh, not a single species or every species contain the same amount of the uh, pheromone that is the sex attracting pheromone so sensilla is a hair like sense organ in insect that consists of 
sensory neurons so sensilla is specialized for sex pheromones that reside on the antenna of the insects in order to reach the sensory neuron the pheromone molecule have to cross the hair wall through the pore tubules and upon the contact with a dendrite pheromone molecule gives an electric response to the sensory neuron so this is the mechanism through which the sex attractant pheromone works or its mechanism is just like that and now the primer pheromone in case of invertebrates so ethyl oleate is released by older forager bees okay to slow the maturing of the nurse bees so that they will not mature fastly so this pheromone act as a distributed regulator to keep the ratio of the nurse bees to the forager bees in balance that is most beneficial to the hive also so primer pheromones are slow acting pheromones so yeah this is all about pheromones in case of invertebrates tomorrow we will be going to discuss about the pheromones in case of vertebrates or basically in case of mammals and along with that the chemistry of the pheromones some limitations if that they possess etc along with some diagrams so yeah stay tuned for the another video on the pheromones hope you will like my video and if you like my video please do like share and subscribe to my channel